This week we try fertilized duck eggs, squid mouths, chicken feet, and we go to a rat infested restaurant and of course we go and visit some clubs and Bouivienne walking street. We have emerged from our slumber and about to go out into the night. Even though you're at a restaurant, you can still order food from the street vendors and eat them at your table. You can even bring your own booze, very freestyle. The squid lady is here. So we're about to eat uh, fertilized eggs. Hey, you should drink the water inside. I have to drink the water inside. Oh, look at those feathers. God help me. I don't need to grab my shoes clean. Not bad. Very salty. Oh, yeah. You can definitely oh, taste the. Salty because this one. Oh yeah, you mix with this one. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Oh, it's one no. When you eat it, you can you can feel the feathers and the bones. <laughs> okay. We're going to Bouyvien Walking Street. This place is crazy. It's like a red light district area with lots of parties and clubs and different bars. And it's not that long, but they pack a lot of places to visit on that little road. So it's definitely worth coming to visit and you can have a lot of fun here. And that's every day of the week. So yeah, go check it out, Bouivien Walking Street. Look at that. Mm. Here we are in Japan Town, or Little Japan, in District 1. We are meeting up with uh, Yang's friend Yim. She's here, look at this, what a cute little place. Look at this, amazing. Please. Yeah. <laughs> it looks very cute. Mangetsu. Oh, it's very we have just eaten unfortunately i was not able to film in there because the light was not that good even the pictures i'm sure are not that great but uh, the food was very delicious we had, a, we had a very good time. I had some original Suntory highballs, which were very tasty. Next, we went to a specialist snail restaurant with lots of different types of snails. Some delicious, some a bit strange, but everyone has to try it out and see what they think. You can see on the menu how many different types of snails that they offer at this place. It's crazy, actually. I didn't even know there were this many types. Some taste like mussels, some taste like squid, some have their own special taste and yeah, some are actually very delicious. So I think if you're open-minded, you can probably try some of these and you won't be disappointed. Pilipili. <laughs> Here we have squid teeth. I didn't even know squid had teeth. But they do apparently, or maybe it's the beak, but it's very tasty. This is the upper Miguza Kuku. Nabia. Nasigara. What one are you up to?
So how much how much was the was the whole bill? About $100. $100 for how many people? 10. 10 people. Imagine. And how much did we eat and drink? I know. Including alcohol. Yeah, alcohol, soju, beer, food. Lovely. And now we're going to sing because that's what Vietnamese people do. So now we're going to the karaoke. My voice is usually like a dying cat. They always say it's better somebody who tries hard than somebody who is good. And I will try hard. And I'm sure I won't be good. The karaoke place. So we're here at the karaoke. So we're here at District K. I don't think there's many countries around the world where you can enter a club with an 11 year old. So uh, that's very interesting. We're here with Yang Sun. He's gonna come party with us today. Yeah, no alcohol for him. So we just left uh, District K, that was just a warm up, now we're going to Atmos. It's going to be a bit crazy, it is slightly expensive but uh, we'll see how that goes. Looks very exclusive, there's only ladies in black clothes and gold chains. As you can see by the sheer number of balloons in this one club, nitrous is a drug that you can usually buy in clubs and bars and it gives you a short high. Back from partying, special noodle, noodle bar. Plastic bag juice always looks good. It's always amazing to have some hot noodles and soup just before you go to sleep after a crazy night out. So we're back at Yang's place. In district, brother. The, yes, my brother, brother. exactly. It is my brother. Here we are, district seven. No, eight. Eight. Sorry, district eight. The name of the restaurant? They now call three rat. Coconut. It's called Rat Restaurant. No, that's <laughs> back in Europe. That's mean three coconut. How do you say coconut? Ewa. Huh? Ewa. 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 It's our last night in Saigon. We're having dinner at the rat restaurant. There's a rat. Can you see him? Oh, there they are. Lovely guys. Chinese white olive. So, am I going to try one? This is not aubergine, but it's delicious. <laughs> What's this? Hello. Hello. This is my friend. It's a feast again. And the most glorious of all the pieces. Mm. My little friend here now is also eating the fish bones. Most hygienic place we've eaten at. Actually, the food is delicious. And I didn't even have a stomachache last time. But then again, we grew up in Kenya eating at Antrecoda, also with rats and cats. Yeah? Say hi, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
rats and cats and dogs and horrendous hygienic practices. Things have changed now, but still, it's tasty. So, we're all very full. We've eaten the fish, fried rice, prawns, squid, frog, uh, this Chinese white olives, whatever the hell they are. They taste like the uh, fruit from Kenya. We've got some shivas, got some homemade deer head and ginseng whiskey or alcohol, I don't even call it whiskey. And yes, we're all very full and feeling fantastic. Our last supper here before we're off to Phuket tomorrow. We're into the Pullman Arcadia near the airport, looks very nice. Looking forward to that. Got a nice little review of that place. Like a real Vietnamese family, yeah? <laughs> mm, okay, okay. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> thank you, thank you, no more. One no is more. enough, one no. is enough. Three. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no three, no. So now I have a new monkey here. Yeah. Monkey won't let go. I think you just saw what we ate before for dinner. Then they said, hey, let's go home and chill. And then we went home to chill, and this is what they ordered just for chilling. Yo! Yo! And so our time in Vietnam came to an end. But we had to fly the next day to Phuket to stay at the amazing Pullman Arcadia. Join us for that video. We'll be back. We will be back. There's no movement. There's no place we move without this making just... Look at this. Look at this. And so it was time to leave Vietnam. It was a crazy long trip, but we still had a little bit of time to spend in Phuket. See you in a bit when you're on the way to the airport. But that is the life of travel, saying goodbye all the time. Where's my phone? Huh? Where's my phone? I don't know. Okay. Just, just wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. This week we review one of the best hotels in Phuket, the Pullman Arcadia Night on Beach. One of the best hotels on the whole island and a convenient 15 minute drive from the airport.